Annyeonghaseyo tout le monde, what should you? So today we are looking at some apartments in China and I thought it would be a really interesting thing for you guys to see since I've shown apartments in Japan and my apartment in Tokyo and I want to show you guys since YouTube isn't really available in China so I don't think you can see a lot of Chinese apartments. It's very popular for people to buy apartments instead of renting. So the apartments that we're seeing today are for sale and not for renting. They give you food and there's a piano playing inside and their lobby is really luxurious. So I'm gonna bring you guys inside and show you around. This is the fancy lobby of the sales office. On the first floor, they have a pianist playing background music and a pretty model standing at the entrance. In the center, they have a diorama of the apartment buildings since some are still under construction to give you a better idea of the finished look. There are also drinks, fruits, and desserts in the back. Then we took the elevator to the second floor. Here they have small models of different apartments to give you a better idea of the layouts. There are maps, pamphlets, and albums about the apartments. There's also a movie room where they show a 5 minute video of how the apartments and the whole community would look like once it's completely finished. We then headed to see some furnished model apartments. There's a machine that wraps the bottom of your shoes to keep the floors clean. Each apartment comes with a private elevator that leads straight to the door. The first apartment we saw was the biggest. There are four bedrooms and three baths, and it's about 178 square meters. The price of these apartments is about 7,000 USD per square meter, so this apartment would cost over 1.2 million dollars. And that's not even including all the furniture and decor. There's a walk-in closet in the master bedroom, as well as a huge bathroom. There are floor-length windows in the living room with a great view of Yangtze River, which is the longest river in Asia. The second apartment we saw was slightly smaller. This one is about 156 square meters, so it would cost about 1.1 million. This apartment has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it's decorated in a different style than the first apartment we saw. The closet space and master bathroom are much smaller. You can see Yangtze River from the bedroom, which is really nice. The last apartment we saw is the smallest, around 149 square meters. It also has three bedrooms and two baths and cost about 1 million USD. I feel like they target this one toward younger couples, especially seeing the way this model apartment is decorated. I especially like the open office area in this apartment. They're still building most of the amenities in this apartment building, but they showed us the guest meeting room and kids playing area. 
We then took the shuttle back to the sales office and had some drinks and refreshments. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting to see apartments in China. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more from me in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye!